Ten, go! Match four underway here. First move on the Red Alliance. That's two of those robots. We see Tindley and their partner, Red Pride, both score six points with a preloaded cube. It does look like Tindley's going to try to dock and engage here as time counts down. Control Z has already got it. And both alliances pick up 12 points as they step forward, take control here for Teleop in match four. Slight blue alliance lead in Telly. That all comes down to the extra game piece that was scored autonomously. There's a three-point cube in one of those bottom rows of nodes that was scored autonomously. Control Z, 4096 for the blue alliance, having a little bit of trouble with control over there in the loading zone. They're going to rotate that robot around, try to get a cone from their human player. That arm now reaches down. Cone, unfortunately, falls to the playing field floor. Their human player, though, she puts it right back on that sub station portal control z moves back in the way check out the action between two of our partner teams here we've got round table two and a round table both of them facing off right in the center of the field round table two that short steel frame remarkably heavy on the red alliance they are able to be a great defensive robot for red Taking a look at other action on blue, we now see Galactech entering back into the Blue Alliance community. Control Z crossing over that charge station. Control Z reaches up. They've got that cone now they worked so hard for from the loading station with their human players and drive team right behind the glass. It is easy for them to see as they try to drop off five points here in that co-op grid. Roundtable 2 still hanging out midfield. That defensive robot using their bumpered frame to give some nudges to their opponents. We see them swerve back and forth right in front of Control Z. Control Z is an offensive powerhouse. As we saw at the first World Championship a few months ago, they break free into their loading zone right alongside their alliance partner, Roundtable Robotics. Control Z extending their arms, still trying to hone in how they're going to manipulate cones coming out of the substation portal. 30 seconds remaining in the match, Blue Alliance leads 51 to 38. For both alliances, the ranking point here is absolutely a possibility. All they need is two robots docked and engaged on the charge station at the end of the match. And it looks like Red Pride and Tindley are doing it for the Red Alliance. Roundtable 2 is trying to join them. They do need to be careful on their time here, though. Roundtable looks like they're still going to be in contact with that charge station. Control Z also docked at the conclusion of the match. We've got our scores for qualification match number four. Give it up for the Blue Alliance taking the win here at Indy Rage. They win 69 to 60 in that match. And we've got a bonus ranking point for the Red Alliance due to their work on the charge station.